having worked in Asia and Europe and America, talked about different customers, uh, the role of brands, different marketing approaches, uh, and just some personal views on working internationally. So said Americans are like a peach, Belgians are like a coconut. And I think this is very, very true, and I think it plays into ultimately marketing messages as well as customer insights focus groups. Americans are sweet on the outside, fairly easy to penetrate, um, gregarious, uh, easy to talk to, easy to talk to strangers. However, if you're a foreigner, if you move into the US, people will welcome you, they'll give you a basket of blueberry muffins, they'll be really friendly. And as you move through the softness of that fruit of the peach, you will hit that hard center. And in fact, you don't ever really get in. And so there's that superficial nature where we're quite friendly on the outside, but actually getting in and getting fully accepted is, is quite difficult. On the Belgian side, you're very much like a coconut. They're very, very private people. It's a country that was run over in two world wars. Uh, they've been through occupation, uh, been neighbor turning on neighbor. So an incredibly private society takes a long time to get through um, and actually build personal relationships. But once you're through, those friendships are genuine and very, very deep. Everybody's at a different life stage, um, but I actually think we are fooling ourselves if we think that we're teaching the developing markets something. I think the developing markets, like a market like China, are actually skipping generations and are actually going beyond where we want to be, and that even now, developed markets can be learning what they should be doing in the future from the developing markets. If you look at China, you have 400 million mobile um, smartphone owners. And so what they're doing around uh, retailing and mobile apps and mobile commerce is far beyond what's being done in the United States or in Europe. And so I do think that everybody's on a continuum, but where we're learning from can come from any, from any part. In the old world, you didn't have as many modern uh, abilities to communicate between people, so you had word of mouth in villages. In the new world, you have things like Weibo, which is the Twitter, uh, Twitter version in China, which is allowing people to talk to each other about uh, specific products. And it is a key driver of trust, uh, being able to talk individually. Things are quite censored. Um, and so people whisper to each other quite a bit, and information is passed um, to each other. And because there have been so many scandals in the marketplace over the past 10 years, people really trust each other more than they trust um, what they hear or what they see for the younger generations. We don't really use the word shoppers. So shoppers is something that seems to be used in headlines and titles and stuff, but it is just people, and it's just, it's just human behavior. It's how people communicate, it's how people shop, it's how they want to get information. Um, people are shopping all the time. I'm looking at your jacket thinking, I like that pattern, it's kind of cool, maybe I'll get a jacket. I mean, that's literally, I'm browsing right now. So it's, it's human behavior. It's not necessarily shoppers are changing. And, and I think it's really important to be, um, to be attached to that, that human side. Big believer in, um, as I say, uh, don't be an outsider. Of even if you're on a project, um, eat everything, live locally, try to learn the language, um, try to figure out how people communicate. Uh, as a marketer, as an insights person, the more closely you can get in with your colleagues, your associates, your customers, the more you will get out of it. And I think it's, a, it's, it's quite a hard push uh, to get in, but I absolutely believe that it's, uh, it, it's a key benefit I think we are at a major turning point in retail. Um, Multi-channel and online uh, for me is the, the biggest interrupted interruption uh, into retail right now. So we're gonna go from physical stores and a space race to uh, solving customer needs in their homes, in their cars, wherever they are through mobile, and then being able to deliver them products wherever they want those products. It could be a physical store, could be home, could be in a park, and I think that is the, the future of retail is massive change right now.